Hi everybody, this is Melissa the Stamp Doc, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun birthday card that features the detailed birthday edgelets dies. These dies are at risk of selling out, so make sure if you want them, you get them soon. But you can easily do the same technique with other dies that you may already own. I'm also trying out a new video format today, so be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe at the end. Thanks for watching. For today's card, you're going to need five different colors of Stampin' Up! cardstock, and I've listed those colors for you below. You're also going to need a piece of designer series paper. This is how sweet it is, and it measures one inch by four inches. You'll need a Whisper White piece measuring four inches by five and a half inches. And finally, a piece of basic black measuring four and a quarter inches by seven inches, scored at three and a half. When you die cut your piece of Whisper White cardstock, I recommend that you put the die across the card with the top edge of the tallest present reaching the top. I'm using the magnetic platform to keep that in position, and you'll notice I've got it along the edge of the platform. I'm going to run that back and forth a couple of times to give it a good impression, and that'll also help it release a little easier. Your finished piece of Whisper White cardstock will look like this and you'll also want to die cut your other colored cardstock pieces as well. To create the row of different colored presents, I'm using the fine tip glue pen to put adhesive down, and then I'm cutting the presents apart and placing them over the white presents. Any excess I trim off with my paper snips, and then I move on to the next color of present. I'm going to do this until I have completed the entire row. And you'll notice that I'm gonna have quite a few leftovers, so I will have another video showing you some other card ideas with this. Now here's my completed row. I'm going to put a piece of that designer series paper across that to even up the bottom edge. And let me bring in the finished card for you to see. Here we go, I've stamped the greeting there at the bottom. I've added a few of the glitter enamel dots and I added some reversible Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green Ribbon. All of these are available on my Stampin' Up! website. I'll have the link for you below.